everyone, and welcome to June. It is the 1st of June today. Hi, my name is Ava, and this is Stitching in the Interlake. So thank you so much for joining me today. And down here is Miss Twinkle Josie down Miss Lily Bell. And Jonah just happens to be over where he's eating right now. So it is a beautiful day, but it is windy. Not as windy as yesterday, but the sun is shining. It was clear with no clouds this morning, but now all the clouds are rolling in. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here he is. There he is. There's my Jonas in one lot. And Lily Bell. Lily Bell. There. Those are my sidekicks. Um, if you're just new to my channel, welcome. Um, please consider um, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And welcome to all of you that are now on the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. I think we're up to 66, 66 or 67, I'm not sure. But on the Facebook group, we have uh, our newest members are Sharon, Sharon Perry, Kanita Kegel Asher, and Jessica Anderson. So welcome, ladies. I hope you like what you see. And I really hope, if you haven't subscribed yet to my uh, YouTube channel, that you go over there and do so. so. It's always interesting to see what, um, you know, people where they're from and what they're stitching on and don't be shy ladies this is a it's just open to everybody and that there's a lawnmower out there that's going and it's not it's not here at the house I think what it is is it's the lady who cuts in the um between the sidewalk and the road, the ditch, if you will. And um, so, yeah. So, uh, I see you're driving by here several times on the big tractor. I think that's what we're going to need here for the yard because it's just either that or we're going to need a swather. <laughs> before. Before this year ends, we're going to need a swather because it is just so, um, the grass is just growing like really high, really fast. But the other thing is, is that it's uh, a lot of flooding on the ground. Oh, if you're wondering what I'm working on, <laughs> I'm working here on Autumn. And I'm finishing up this one uh, color. So as you can see, this leaf is done. That leaf is done. The, the barn is done. This leaf is done. But I still have some stuff. I'm just working here a little bit on the scarecrow. And then I can start another color. So. Yeah, I'm getting... I'm getting pretty close to getting finished here. But I'm not finished yet, and I won't be until all the back stitching is done. So, uh, so yeah. But, uh, oh, it was cold here yesterday. Oh, my gosh. I think Juliet and I and John, we were all in just a, I don't know if you can call it a foul mood, but we were, none of us were happy. None of us were happy. I don't think very many people are happy with the weather. Last year, it was a drought situation. And this year, it's um, flooding. We can't win for losing. 
So, um, I'm really enjoying the book I'm reading. It's called Time Shift. S H I F T. Uh, by Victor Zug. Z U G G. Okay. It's really good. I can see it being more of a series, though, because there's a lot that's happening, and I can't see it that it's all going to um, be finished in one book. But mind you, I'm not even halfway yet, so we'll see. So, uh, yeah. But otherwise, yeah, not much else. Oh, Jonah's going to lay here beside Lily Bell. There he is. Oh, yeah. Those two like to snuggle. Though, Lily Bell does, he, he gets upset at Jonah when he's on the bed. Oh, Lily Bell goes after him and snaps at him and growls at him. <laughs> Oh, she does not like that. I think she thinks that Jonah's hitting, honing in on her uh, territory there on the bed. I mean, it's a queen-size bed. There's lots of room on the bed. Doesn't make much sense, but oh well. So, yeah. So, I've got dishes to do this morning. And I'm going to maybe sweep up here. And uh, I'm so happy that my migraine is gone. Oh, you have no idea. No idea. That was terrible. It's just, they come on, It's it seems for no apparent reason. And they like to just, they like to sit on this side and here in my neck. And then I, my, my neck and this side of my face burns, burns, you know, gets very hot and flushed. And uh, that's all part and parcel of it. I've had that for years and years and years. So... So, yeah, but otherwise not much else is happening. It's just going to be a quiet day as per usual. And um, it's just, um, just quiet and we're just going to hang out here. And like I said, I'm just going to sweep the floor up a bit. I've neglected it. I don't think I want to put the vacuum cleaner on just yet. No. No. Noise bothers me too much. Even without a migraine. Sometimes the noise really gets to me. So. But, yeah. So, um, I guess, what are y'all working on? You know, um, is there anybody that's working on one of these seasons? Um, anybody that is, um, you know, are you working on any season or seasonal? Um, are you perhaps... Um, working on something for um, Canada Day or for Independence Day or for uh, I don't know when Australia Day is and uh, UK Day but they've got their um, in the UK they've got their big thing there with um Queen Elizabeth, her 
Platinum Jubilee. I think it's platinum. 70 years on the throne. Can you believe it? She's the longest reigning mar monarch in UK history. Like that just... And there's not going to be another one who will reign that long in my lifetime. So, nope. The only one that could possibly, who's coming up, is um, uh, Prince George. That is if his grandfather and his father pass away before him. And he gets to be like 17 or 18 or something. And he takes over the throne. But I don't think so. I think it, you know, um, I think it's more likely that William, he'll, he'll take over and he'll be there for, 30 years, 20, 30 years. And then, um, and then, um, and then uh, Prince George or the heir apparent will take over. So, okay, so what am I going to work on now? So I'm gonna work on that. 18. Okay. So I've decided I'm going to work here on this, the pumpkin here. There's some here, the stalk and that. I'm going to work on that right now. And, uh, and I have the dreaded um, back stitching coming up. So... But yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go out. I was going to take a walk. I'll see. It depends on if it warms up. It's supposed to get like to 15 degrees, I think, today. Something like that. But with the wind, and the wind is from the northwest. So you know that's a cold wind. So, uh, yeah, not, not very good, not very good. So, I guess we'll see what, what happens. If I can, though, I'd like to go for a walk. But I'll have to see how, I know I can put warmer, layers on you know but there's no way I, I draw the line at a parka right I I draw the line at my winter parka on the first of June yeah you know three months from today so July August September this is how it's going to be like, we don't have much opportunity here for a summer. Now, JJ up there in Edmonton, how's the weather up there um, for you guys? Um, are you having it any better, any warmer? So, uh, yeah. So last year we had an exceptionally dry summer and very hot. Then we had an exceptionally cold winter with lots of snow. And now we're, well, now we're really kind of into summer. And we didn't really have a spring 
I think there was one day I was able to sit outside and do a video. Just one day. And um, the rest of the time, it's been too windy. It's been rainy. Yeah. Not good. Not good. So... I, I think it's just the growing season this year is just going to be, you know, we as a society, we can, we can only, we can't handle too much of this where it's, um, we're not growing any crops. It's, um, Because, you know, what's, what's going to happen to the, um, you know, food supply, food chain, you know. And, I mean, for me, as a vegan, most people would say, well, gee, it's not going to affect me very much, you know. But the thing is, is that, or... You as a uh, as a meat eater, it's not going to affect you. You know, but the thing is, is that the cattle, <coughs> excuse me, there's a lot of cattle who rely on feed, especially during the winter. And farmers grow feed specifically for cattle which is really not very economical because you're taking good ground that could be used for food production and you can get more per kilogram um, growing food for people than you do for animals. Hay is one thing because that's just, yeah. You know, there's hay land and all that. <coughs> but as far as grains are concerned, like growing corn for animal feed is just, to me that's counterproductive. I know that there's a lot of you that are meat eaters out there who who can't see it, but if you look at the energy required <clears throat> to <coughs> grow food for animals versus growing food for humans, For animals, and that it's way down here, and humans is way up here, right? So it requires much more energy down here <clears throat> than it is for growing for food. So, <clears throat> but that's just me. I'm sorry. <coughs> oh my gosh. It's almost like I swallowed a fly or something. Yeah. It's just, oh gosh. Oh, Juliet was telling me yesterday that she went down in the basement at her place to mm, wash clothes. And a carpet in a certain area in the basement was all wet. And here, water had seeped in through and was right down, um, had um, soaked right through into the house. So, 
they used the shop vac and they had the fans on it and I asked her this morning how things were and she said well it's the water has stopped coming in so now it's the point of drying so um, I'm rather lucky here that the basement is small like there's a crawl space but the basement is small <clears throat> and I don't even go downstairs in the basement like it's just it's got a cement floor, but it's, um, yeah, no. You know, John went down there yesterday and he said there is water on the floor, but not, not a lot. <clears throat> so, but I think everybody's in the same boat around here. Unless you're high up. Oh, yeah. So, for any of our, our newest subscribers um, and members, please tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from. You never know that there could be somebody in the group who might be your next door neighbor, figuratively speaking. Um, <clears throat> and, um, you know, that, that you can get to know one another. And it also allows us to get to know you. <clears throat> and, um, so far, I have lots of you from the U.S. And I'm in Canada here, in Manitoba, in the Interlake region of Manitoba. So, and um, we do have a few from the U.K. And I believe there's one person from Switzerland there, I believe there's a couple from Germany, Guten Tag, V Gates. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just, you know, are you maybe from Mexico or South America or Oz or Kiwi country? Yeah, like, I just find it fascinating. And I'm a magnet collector, so <clears throat> I try to um, get magnets from all over the world. And some of my dear viewers have sent me some, which I do so appreciate. Absolutely, I do. And... Um, and some places I've gone to, like I've been down into the States and I've practically been coast to coast. Um, I haven't been to PEI or Nova Scotia or Newfoundland, but I've been all the way and I haven't been to the island and I haven't been to um, Yukon Northwest Territories or none of it. So... <clears throat> But, oh, I do have one magnet from Nunavut. I happened to pick that up at a thrift store. And that's where I get most of my magnets, is from the thrift store. So, I've got like 120, 130 magnets now from all over the place. So I may I may never visit there, but when I have that magnet, it's as if I had 
as if I had visited. So, and I like from cities, from states, from like, um, my son got me one from the Grand Canyon. Um, there's from one from the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, I have one from Walt Disney World. Um, I have from various provinces. And like I said, just one from none of it. Um, yeah, I have one from Downton Abbey. I have, um, I'm not sure if I've got one from Stonehenge. I've got one from Petra in Jordan. So I've got from all over the place. I got Australia. I don't have one from New Zealand yet. And I don't have one from, like, Fiji. I have one from Cuba. Um, yeah, so it's, yep. Yeah. So, but uh, anyway, so let me see here what I'm going to work on. So I'm going to work on that gray, which is 470, which is number 5. Gosh, I'm getting down there. I haven't got much. I only have one, two, three, four colors left. That's it. Four colors left. And then I have to do the fill-ins. And some of these I've done before, but now I have to find all the threads. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, but that's okay. If I can't find the threads, I'll fudge it. <laughs> and that's the beauty about doing this. If you can fudge it, fudge it. Don't worry about it. Don't get all your panties in a knot or, uh, you know, that you can't sleep at night because, oh, no, oh, no, you know, what am I going to do and all that. You don't have to worry about that. So, all right, everyone. So, I guess that's it from here. And, again, please like, share, share your heart out. Please share your heart out and let's get some more people rolling into my channel because having more subscribers allows me to do more with my channel, okay? So I can, um, I can do more reviews um, and that kind of thing, you know, and... Uh, when you give me the likes and the shares, it also um, helps with the algorithms with my channel. So it all helps, okay? So don't think that just by not clicking share or like, oh, what's one going to do? Well, one and will do. So, but... Uh, Anyway, all right, everybody, so this is how far I got. See, I got this here on the pumpkin done. So I'm going to, I'm, where am I working here? I'm working on the leaves here on these gray things. And I'm going to work on that. And then I have all this pale yellow to do, which is 642. So I'll be doing that. So... Who knows? Who knows? I could get it done this weekend. Wouldn't that be nice? And then I can start. And then I can start. Welcome gnome. <laughs> See? Not welcome home. Welcome gnome. So, all right, everybody. I pray that you all have a fantastic afternoon 
and happy stitching or diamond painting or whatever it is. And um, I just pray you all have a fantastic day. And take heart if you're not feeling well. Tomorrow is another day. Right? So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And... So does Miss Lilybell and Jonah Sirwine a lot. My two sidekicks that are snuggled. Yeah, because they want to stay warm. <laughs> so if I can, I'll go for a walk. But we'll see. Because the wind is, yeah, and it's cold out there still. Like I think it was only like, I don't know, 10 degrees or something. I don't know. Anyways, everyone, I guess I will see you tomorrow, God willing, of course. Toodles, everybody. 